Welcome back to part 7 of this Let's Play of Windworld. So in the last part I was tried to expand my power supply here, increase the number of batteries. I've moved the batteries from the fridge room to another little room here. So I'm going to make a closed circuit pretty much uh, in case one line cuts somewhere there'll still be power supply supplying the rest until I can repair it. So, I will also need to repair my defenses out here and replace the power. So, let us continue. So, I'm waiting for these wogs to come unmaddened before I open this door. They managed to kill three of my turrets. There were a lot of them. There's only three of them left, I believe. Oh, two of them. But. I'm okay waiting it out. I've got a whole bunch of uh, chunk and stuff to get rid of from the dumping zone. A whole bunch of things to move out from here. I've carved out another corridor here so they have a different way of entering the base as well. So hopefully once they complete all this stuff here, the power supply should charge the batteries a lot faster. But I've moved an entertainment room here with the TV. That should increase their joy levels faster than doing other activities like a wooden horse pin. So I'll deconstruct that. I'm thinking maybe I should give them a uh, pool table as well. That increases their shooting characteristic as they're playing. So, I'll probably have to put it somewhere else though. Okay, let's check these cargo pods. Potatoes? No, I don't need those. Grow my own. There's really only one guy left. Should uh, calm down any moment now. Alright, let's chop up some stone again. Seems I've run out of tiles, sandstone tiles. I've run out of steel as well, actually. So, what we can also do is mine out these areas and replace them with normal walls. And that's a pretty good source of steel. Ah, oh, still going. What? I feel like he's been wa wild for a while now. Or maddened, rather. I'll need more steel before I do anything anyway, so we'll continue with getting steel. Okay, here we go. Let's open this door now. Head with repairs. So 
power is being charged a lot faster by these batteries, which is good. Let's also create a second layer here in case they burn. Just steal there. Put a limestone. Okay, I think that's all the steel I've exposed in my base so far. I might as well mine out this uranium as well. Two new people, so let's see what this squirrel guy's got. Lazy, jealous, and neurotic. It's terrible. Incapable of dumb labor. <laughs> Why do I accept these kind of people? What do these guys have? Rocket launcher. Jeez, this piffy guy's gonna be a problem. This guy better be worth it. So this guy can cop a whole bunch of shots straight up. Oh god, no. Wow, triple rocket launch is scary. Oh, what's he doing? He's got no ammo left. Oh, I think his friend shot him. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so let's put that turret back. I'm thinking I'll also make, I'll deconstruct these ones and I'll create a wall going this way. I guess if I did this, put more turrets behind. I don't know. I may not have enough steel to do that. Is that 44? Oh, I've got no potatoes to cook, that's why. I 
suppose I can melt these slags. not be enough grass for them to eat there but we'll see. It's a solar fire so all the power is down. Why is Steven? Oh, it was transparent for some reason. I think they're all catching up on the hauling process right now. Alright, so let's suspend this and they can do the slags instead. That way, they can haul all these out. Close up some walls. I'm thinking... Hydroponics, I've got my outside area. Let's get a charged shot. I 
Okay, let's see what my character's got. Shooting. This guy can use a knife. Emma has a gun. Nothing, nothing. This guy can use a gun. So melting steel slags gives me a small amount of steel. It's not much, but it's something. I'll hold these slags in as well. Two smithers. That way we can do both stone blocks and slags. Oh wait, no, he's the researcher. Steven. Well, Steven's the cooker though. Maybe Emma. Smooth out the outside as well, actually. Make it nicer. There we go. Because right now it's very dirty and ugly. If they smooth it out, the outside, which they spend quite a lot of time in, would be nicer. Reinstall this here as well. And deconstruct this one. Yeah, I don't need another light there. So the beauty of this place is slowly increasing. It'll increase walk speed by 7% as well. Amazing. Break risk. Jerome. No, oh, because of his breakup with Emma. So Emma's in a separate bed now. Steven and Viz Viz are happy though. Animal starvation? I guess this grass isn't growing enough. Why did the warning for the raid disappear straight away? Uh, it's like they died instantly. Yeah, I don't see a raid. It's a chinchilla. Must have died instantly. So 
The outside's still ugly. If I can get it to neutral, I'll be happy with that. I think I should move all these animal corpses outside. Maybe I'll make a separate dumping zone for animal corpses. The next day they should have enough time to finish all this floor smoothing. So from my understanding, smoothing out a floor actually gives better boosts as opposed to putting tiles. It doesn't require resources, it just needs a stone base, except it does take longer to do as well. Just for the sake of looking nice. Smithy. Well, they're bows and knives. I don't need melee. Let's disassemble forever. Let's make power armor. Fruit, don't need. Oh, so plastic components to make power armor. Crafting at eight for Nicholas. Squirrel. Eight, one, five, five, three. Hmm. These guys are still starving. Maybe I should make an hydroponics room. Let's try it out. Requires power to work.
temperature indoors for. Wow, why is it so cold indoors? Oh, maybe because of the freezer room. Okay. Let's add another cooler. Creating this power armor takes ages, but it'll be worth it. I always think of Fallout when I think of power armor like that. Use the other chair. Right, let's deconstruct that. Busy hauling now. New lovers, yeah, Emma. Emma's ditched Jarrow, I believe it was. And now it's with Freddy. these and that one to haul. I think all the hauling will be done after that. Yeah, I think this freezer room is causing the rest of this place to be so cold. Oh no, it is winter though. This place will need to stay warm for sure. It's the hospital, you don't want them cold. Next time, why don't we build the hospital next to the freezer?
clear out all this stuff. And then... We'll get some upgrading going. Maybe we'll open this up as well, find out what's in there. We don't want any more surprises. turn them into normal medicine. Until then they can use herbal medicine. This stuff is below 50%, so they don't want to wear them anyway. Kill route's almost done as well. It's great. Freddy Hauler, number two. We still need a buttload of steel. Construct those. They can use that steel to build the rest of the wiring there. Hmm, that was an early bird. Can't be self tamed. Well, this battery in particular is really low. Is almost done. Let's have a look. 100% flammability. Viz is wearing it. She can't fight though. 
Alright, let's assign some people to certain... People who can fight. Okay, this guy can fight, so we'll make him a fighter. This guy's in melee. Yeah, he can fight. He can fight. Cannot. Cannot. Can fight. Okay, so manage outfits. Soldier. We'll increase it to 50. Clothes. So these guys are soldiers. For the anythings, we will get rid of armored stuff. Power armor. And personal shots. A soldier. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's get some. Uh, hey, drug production. Anti malarial block. That'd be good. So we need more steel to finish off this cooler. How's it compared to this kind of armor? Oh, it doesn't cover much. This covers so much. Maybe I'll make Steven my uh, robot. Needs a new nose though. Target temperature is not working. How about we put a heater instead? How much power do hydroponics take? Not much. Alright, good. 
infestation. I want to make this one just, just for animal corpses, or just for any corpses really. This one I'll take out corpses. Alright, let's check out this infestation. Okay, we've got a hive right in our rec room. So we've got three warriors. We could probably fight him. Uh, okay. I'm going to end it here. We'll tackle the infestation in the next playthrough. Thanks for watching, guys.